Now, we can now compare the efficiency between this RCBD and this CRD. Okay, so to measure the efficiency of RCBD with that of the CRD, we can use this formula. Okay, and if the result <clears throat> using this formula is greater than 100%, then this implies that RCBD is better than the CRD. Okay. Okay, and then if it's less than 100%, this implies that CRD is better than the RCBD with the same number of replications. Okay, so let's have an example under this. Um, recall the formula, uh, the ANOVA result that we have in the example. Um, uh, and the formula here, we can plug in the values, okay? So this 0.7456 is just your uh, mean square for the block. Okay, so that's 0 0.7456. And then another value, 0 0.3067 is the mean square for the error, for the MSE. So we plug in the values and then we get 128.62%. So lang pa siya ng 100%. Therefore, there is uh, this gain in efficiency in using the RCBD over the CRD with the same number of replications. So RCBD is 28.62% more efficient over the CRD with the same number of replications. Okay, now to be equal in terms of efficiency, okay, we need to what? Multiply this value 1.2862 times the number of, uh, what's this? Replicates, the blocks here, the four, okay? So we have around six okay, replicates. Kung magkandak tayo ng CRD, okay, we need to have six replications okay, to have the same efficiency with that of this RCBD. Okay, so what if experimental units exhibit heterogeneity in two directions of classifications? So you have to think. Um, in the RCBD, we, on, we only consider one blocking factor. How about now if we consider two blocking factors? Okay, this is the question. Now, the answer is use two-dimensional blocking factor, or we say, we call it Latin square design. Okay, so do we need a break now? All right. Okay. All right, Posse, we will have a break first. So, masyadong marami yung na-discuss na ni Ma'am. So, ang important factors dun ay makita natin yung step-by-step -step process. So, Ang first step ata na, na, na if, if I'm not mistaken, will be yung design of experiments kung mamimili ka between CRB, B, B, C, CR, <laughs> completely randomized, CRBD or RCD. Tama. RCBD. Tapos, RCBD. Tapos after that, you will have to test for your assumptions. Tama ba, ma'am? Before yes. you proceed to testing your statistics, you, you should, uh, you should uh, test your assumptions first. So, maraming methods na binigay si Ma'am for testing your assumptions. Ika nga, eh, check the label muna kung pwede. <laughs> kung hindi pwede, eh, di move tayo sa ibang statistics yeah. like non if, uh, if that is uh, more uh, applicable. Tapos, after yes. that, you... Uh, you test for yung blocking. Kasi minsan naman, ma'am, wala, hindi naman, minsan may mga statistics na hindi naman kailangan ng blocking, di ba? Tama po ba? Yes. Pero may, may, may mga times na wala. So if yung blocking, may, may blocking kayo na ginawa, so uh, pwede nyo siyang itest. Pero kung wala naman, pwede rin walang blocking. And, uh, 